Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Recently, someone asked me specifically, so for this job, the job that I currently have as a school-based counselor for the public school system, are you able to support yourself with the income you make, question mark, as far as living comfortably, question mark. So I would consider my life to be a comfortable life. It would be a lie to say that it wasn't. And so I never really thought about what that might look like because for as long as I've been living this comfortably, I've been married and my husband and I have shared finances. What that means is that we have one checking account where all of our paychecks deposit and from that same bank account, all of our bills, expenses, investing, saving, and all of that deducts. So that's kind of what that means when I say we have shared finances. And so I've never really thought about it. And so I thought, let me see. I don't know. I'm just working this job because it seemed like a good idea. So let me see. And so I went to create a budget on if I were just living here by myself. And so I'm going to share that with you guys and what that would look like because I found it to be a little interesting. I definitely would have a lower quality of life, but it wouldn't be an uncomfortable life whatsoever. And so I'm going to share that with you guys. So let's start with housing expenses. So whether or not I lived alone or didn't, my pest control would be $51 per month. For mortgage, if I lived in this exact same house, which I absolutely would not, if I were single, I would be paying the same amount, which is $1,611 per month. By the way, I don't think I ever would have purchased a house if I were single. I would think that I would still rent. So that would probably be different. I want to throw that out there, but for all intents and purposes, we're going with if I were single tomorrow. For security, for our home, this is based on the cameras and stuff that we have. I would have the same amount of cameras and whatnot, so I would still pay $52 per month for security for the home. For my electricity bill, it would still be about the same if it were just me, because I pretty much am the one who uses up all the electricity anyway because I'm always having the air on. So it would still be about $200 per month. Of course, this is the summer months. This isn't the winter months. So still about $200 in the summer months. I would not have cable. That would be zero. For my phone bill, I would pay the same amount that I do now, which is $30 per month. For my internet, I would pay the same amount for high-speed internet at $80 per month. I would not have Netflix or any other type of subscription that has anything to do with TV and all of that because I don't care about that kind of stuff. Plus, I do get HBO Max with internet with the internet that we have, so I'd probably just have HBO Max. For water slash sewer, that would be roughly the same like i can't imagine it would be too terribly cheaper maybe a few dollars cheaper but nothing too too major because it seems that there's like a baseline that we have to pay for water anyway and so that's about 55 dollars per month for amazon music i would still have that at 16 dollars per month for our gym membership i would still have that i've cut it in half so that would be 30 dollars per month for shopping I have also sliced that in half from about $1,500 per month to $700 per month. My thinking would be about $100 or so would be spent on gas per month, about $100 per week on food and toiletries and things like that. And then the rest of the money, which would be a few hundred dollars, maybe like $250 ish, would be left. And that is what I would spend on personal items, going out to eat with friends, hanging with friends those types of things. For pet, I probably wouldn't have a pet, so that would be zero dollars per month. For life insurance, I probably wouldn't have life insurance moving forward if I were single tomorrow with no dependents because I would just keep the policy that I have through my employer, which is a decent policy. It's just that we have additional coverage in the event that one of us, something happens to one of us and one is left to kind of fend for themselves abruptly that's why we have additional life insurance policies which i wouldn't have if i were single for car payment i would still probably have a car payment before i met my husband i had one so if i did i have a comfortable vehicle it's a 2021 rav4 that would be the car that i would still drive because that's like my dream normal people car and i would pay 314 still for that car payment so let's talk about savings let's talk about investing first investing to me is just what i consider the amount that I invest via stash and I just stash up money. I have a stash account already as it is. It's not that much money in there, but I send $20 per week to that account. It's technically for the both of us and we spend it throughout the year if we want to, but 
if it were just me, I'd probably still do the same amount, which is $20 per week or anywhere from $80 to $100 per month. For retirement, I would imagine I would still be looking to try to retire early or still being adamant about saving for the future. So I would probably still send money to a Roth IRA, which is what I do now. And I would still send money to a brokerage account, which is what I do now. And then I just put whatever was left from the whole budget, which you'll see, to go to the emergency fund, which is $97. I was thinking that I'd probably try to keep saving a little bit of money towards my emergency fund, because if I'm saving about $100 each month, then I would have about $1,200 each year, which would add up over time. So that's probably what I would do as far as how I would save. Let's talk about sinking funds. So sinking funds are also, for us, a way of saving for on the short term side of things, short term savings accounts. However, for us, our sinking funds are actually, they have an actual purpose. So right now we save towards our car insurance premium, which we pay every six months. We save towards our Walmart Plus subscription, which we pay annually. We save towards our Sirius XM subscription, which we pay biannually. We save towards termite control, which we pay annually. We save towards our HOA fees, which we pay annually. And we don't currently save towards any miscellaneous anything, but I would probably throw that in if I were single. So let's talk about what would change. So let's talk about progressive, which is car insurance. I've sliced that in half. And so I would say I would save about $85 per month towards car insurance so that when we get our, when I, when I get my premium every six months, I would pay it in full. So like I said, I just slice it in half. For Walmart Plus, I kept it the same because whether one person lives here or 50 people live here, the price of the subscription is the same and I really just have Walmart Plus. For grocery delivery, I would still have that because it's a lifesaver. I hate the grocery store. Sirius XM, same thing. I would save the same amount. Termite control, I would save the same amount. It would be the same amount whether one person lived here or many people lived here. HOA fees, same amount, whether it was just me or more people. So for miscellaneous, I was thinking I might just save about 40 per month or so towards miscellaneous expenses that will pop up, such as maybe uh, car repairs or car maintenance and stuff like that. So this would probably be the budget. Um, I feel like if ever I needed to pull back on, maybe I wanted to save for travel specifically or some kind of vacation or something like that specifically, I would probably just not do any additional investing for that month. So if I didn't do the additional investing, that would save me about $500. If I didn't do the stash, if I didn't do the emergency fund saving or any of that, then all together, that's about, that's near $700, closer to $700 than 600, I believe, at a quick glance that I would be able to just keep instead of, keep in my checking account instead of saving or investing, which, you know, if I was taking a trip or something like that, that would be some pretty good money to set aside. So potentially if I knew a trip was coming up or if I had some large expense coming up, I would just kind of mess with that section of the budget rather than any of the other sections of the budget. So this is how I would spend slash save and budget my income if I were single tomorrow with no dependents, no pets, none of that. That's what would happen. If I were not married right now and if I were single, my budget would look completely different. But for all intents and purposes, I just wanted to share what it would look like if I were single tomorrow. So anyway, that is going to be it for this video. I don't know, it was kind of eerie doing this because I've never done it before. I know that I can live comfortably by myself. I just never really envisioned if I were single living this, living this way. You know, if I were single, even if I were single tomorrow, I really, like this house wouldn't do anything for me. I wouldn't want to stay in this house. I'd want to go buy a smaller house, have a lower mortgage. You know, I would make other changes, but for all intents and purposes, if I were living here and living this comfortable lifestyle solo starting tomorrow looks like I could afford it even though 
it would look vastly different, but I still technically could afford it and to live comfortably. So that is gonna be it for this video. Let me know your questions, comments, and concerns down in the comment section. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe if you're new and if you're liking what you're seeing, and I will catch you guys right back here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye guys.